finished product is two raccoons sitting in a garbage can having a dinner. Now let's begin to look at the mechanism. I always try to design the handle to reflect the piece I'm building. In this case, it's a bone from the garbage. A directional arrow helps point the direction to turn. This is the main part of the mechanism with the cams, lifters, main shaft, and counterweights showing. The top works have been removed so you can see the mechanism working more clearly. Here is a stationary view of the mechanism so we can go over the components in a little more detail. Over on the right side, just off the edge of the photograph, is the gearbox. In this area, you'll see the gears, a reduction of 1 to 8, and an anti-reverse pawl. Through the center is the drive shaft that has all the mechanisms. The raccoon on the right is driven by the first is his arm, then his neck that moves his neck, and a counterweight that pulls the neck back when the cam is released. Next feature is we have the jaw movement, the neck cam drives the eyes, the next one drives the tongue, and finally the other one drives the left arm. Through the middle we have a set of gears that come to the front to the Geneva mechanism which makes the little mouse go up and down through a piston that actuates here. And on the next side we have the raccoon on the left. Similar to the other one we have the left arm, neck, uh, jaw, eyes, tongue, and in this case the lever that wiggles the fish. Across the back of the mechanism are the two gear wheels that actually drive the tails. One in this direction and the one on the other side goes in this direction. You'll see those in the rear view. Here's a view of the mechanism from the rear working. You can see the gearbox is now on the left of the picture and you can see the two gears with a right angle drive that make the tail actions work. The little pins actually wiggle a lever that makes the tail work. Here's a closer view of the gearbox in the anti-reverse ratchet and a few of the cams making the levers go up and down for the raccoon on the right. A little different view of the same area of the mechanism so you may see the operation just a little clearer. This is one of the two mechanisms that makes the tail wag. In the final assembly there's a long lever with a slot in it in the over top of this pin which makes the lever wiggle back and forth for the tail motion. This Geneva mechanism drives the shaft that turns the wheel that makes the piston for the mouse to come up once every four rotations of the wheel on the front of the garbage can. Here's a front view of the mechanism again, this time with the top works installed and the actuators. Across the center you can see the cams and all the little riders push on the push arms that move up into the mechanism. Two plywood wheels on the top are the pawls that turn the heads and you can see the shaft that makes the little mouse in the front go up and down on the big wheel in the front. Finally, this is how the whole mechanism works when it's all together. The little mouse just rolls up in the front of the can, the raccoons turn and speak to each other as they look about, and the mechanism just keeps on churning. I hope you've enjoyed this little demonstration of what it took to make the raccoons work.